Good morning, beautifuls. It is Friday, May 19th, 2018. <sighs> I'm looking at you today. I'm a wreck. I'm a mess. It's just, it's a day after sort of thing. It's been a very busy week um, for everyone following. You know what I've been up to. Yesterday I had this doctor's appointment with a dermatologist. And they are amazing there. And um, this is my moment of gratitude. And also, and also my celebrate the beauty moment, I think. Um, I had waited like six months for this doctor's appointment because they are a specialist. And so I got my friend to drive me into the city and we showed up at this most beautiful, um, it's one of the oldest buildings in downtown and they have completely redone it. And it's the most fantastic doctor's office I've ever been in. Um, the experience was beyond amazing, beyond professional, beyond courteous, super duper clean, right on top of things. Like this doctor's experience was one of the best in my life. Scared shitless. I was so scared. So I go in and I'm like, they give you the form to fill out. So I started filling it out and I got my name written down and then I got called in. But first off, first off, when you walk into their building, like it's a beautiful modern painted structure. It's the oldest brick building downtown. And so you walk in and there's a beautiful coffee shop. Um, you'll see my Instagram. They have an Instagram counter on their wall, which is really fun. But a beautiful, comforting, like it's very clean, very comfortable coffee shop. The barista, the girl there was absolutely spectacular. I really enjoy talking to her. Customer service and kindness go such a long way. Like my friend and I had a really enjoyable time there. It also um, allowed my friend to be able to sit and have a coffee while she was waiting for me rather than just like hanging out in a waiting room. So you go through like this little coffee shop and then you go in a hallway and then so you kind of look at her and you're like, do I go in past the hallway? And she's like, oh, yes, go on. So you go in there and there's like the reception area that's very organized, well run, like a really well greased wheel. And like I said, before I can get my name on that um, thing on the paper, I'm getting called in and giving the rundown. I'm like, I haven't even finished this yet. I'm sorry. And they're like, yeah, don't worry about it. Um, so the doctor came in. We chatted for like five minutes and he looked at some. I went to the skin doctor, to the dermatologist, and he looked at some spots on my body and we discussed what was going to be happening. Now, generally, I thought this was just a consultation and then like, hey, come back back and we'll take care of these problems but he's like no nope, we'll just take care of this for you today and uh, my nurse will be in to prep you up and I'm like what what because I didn't know what to expect so like within two to three minutes the nurse was in um excuse me so what I actually had done was I remember that big mole on the side of my neck there I went in to have that analyzed because things were changing on it, you know, like the whole fear of things. So um, we had a look at a couple of other spots in my body. So the nurse comes in and I'm like, I started crying and shaking because I was so scared about what was going to happen because I wasn't sure. And um, she's like, she was great. She's like, this is what we're going to do. We've just got some local and then we're just going to like scrape off the mole and... Um, We'll send it in for analysis. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, seriously. Um, local anesthetic is really weird with me. It doesn't necessarily stay put and work where it's supposed to. And it often wears off quickly. So I'm letting her know this. And they were fantastic about that. They're like, yep, no problem. You know, like, we'll keep an eye on you. So, like, within five minutes, I was prepped. Like, seriously. Um, I had this spot done on my neck. I don't know. If that's showing up with the band-aid. I had a spot on my arm taking off. And I had two on my leg taken off. And the two on my leg were not the two that I was worried about. And the doctor's like, well, look at that again. You're okay. So they froze me up really well. And between the two of them, I had four spots. Like, I had six pokes with the local. I had four spots taken off of me. And I was done in ten minutes. Bandaged up, ready to go, aftercare instructions, like, fan freaking tastic And I just sat there the whole time with my hands in Kleenex, crying and shaking because I was so freaking scared. The needles hurt, um, but the procedure didn't. 
Um, and it really hurt, really hurt my muscles with um, the local anesthetic coming out of it. I don't know why. Um, it was wild. Like I, I had lost complete feeling in my ear at one point as I was, as I was like wearing off. Um, like I could feel my neck where all this happened, but my ear was numb. <laughs> so I'm like in the car with my friend. I'm like, I can't feel my ear. Um, so I have to keep the bandages on 24 hours so I can get, take them off this afternoon and then keep it moist. And I should have some cool little scars. And then I go back in two months. So, so grateful for medical technologies that happen. Um, so grateful for my support team. I'm grateful for you guys that you put up with looking at me like this because I don't even care today. I slept with my hair up because I don't want to get hair in my band-aid or anything like that. And yeah, so it was an... <laughs> I was terrified, but it was an absolutely fantastic experience. And it's the Sneath Skin Company in Brandon. Um, where I was and absolutely fantastic such a good feeling going in there like a good healing feeling like we're here to help you we want to help you we want to help everybody so we've got a strict routine here we go in and out bam um, but I didn't feel like for lack of better words a cattle being pushed in and out so quickly like they took the time they were very personable they were very professional um, I can't even say enough about this place. So I am very much looking forward to going back, um, talking with the doctor again, and um, just to keep an eye on things. So while I did wait six months, it was completely worth it. There was no hassle, no runaround from the dermatologist office. And everybody there was so fantastic. I just want to say thank you. And, um, yeah, let you guys know what I was stressing about so much. So, waiting on results, which should be okay. He didn't seem, like, overly worried about things. Um, he was worried about two spots, though, that he decided to take off. So, I'm cool with that. Um, little body scars are all right, I guess. You know, like, when they happen, it's a story. So, yeah, this is kind of a long, dabbling one. I just wanted to say good morning. And that was my experience yesterday. And as terrifying as it was, it was absolutely fantastic. So yes, that is it for me. I have to go and work at the paper for a little bit. Um, and yeah, that's my day pretty much. I'm going to relax when I get home. Have a good meal. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out here with me. Celebrating the beauty. 365 days of gratitude. Even on days that aren't all bright and sunshiny. <laughs> that's right. I hope your day is great. I love you. And I'll see you again tomorrow.